this guide shows you how to update iTunes. Now you might need to update iTunes if you've just updated your iOS in your iPhone, iPad or iPod or other Apple device. To do this we need to first open iTunes. So double click the iTunes icon from the desktop if you have one or else find it in your start menu. On most occasions, once you've opened iTunes, it should come up a new version of iTunes is available. Would you like to download it now? Now, sometimes it won't automatically check for new versions upon opening iTunes. And if you don't get this message come up and you want to manually check, we can do this by left clicking on help here and then left click check for updates. It will force iTunes to check for updates and there we go, we can see it says a new version of iTunes is available. So next thing we need to do is move our mouse over download iTunes and left click once. Okay, so I've noticed on my screen in the taskbar down the bottom here, there's this little blue icon that's now appeared. So. I'm just going to left click on that and that should bring up the Apple software update. Now on your screen it might have already come up automatically. If so, then uh, all we do is we just left click install one item. It then says do you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC? Left click yes once. It's now downloading iTunes. This might take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. I'll come back to this once um, it's finished downloading. Okay, it's nearly finished downloading for me. So uh, now it's saying installing. Again, this part may take quite a while. So I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll come back to it as it's nearing the end of the install. As you can see, iTunes has been shut down automatically in the background just while it's installing the new version. Please do not touch your computer. Do not try to do anything on it while it's installing. Just let it run. If it looks like it's, um, it's stopped, uh, then just, just leave it for a while because iTunes can take a very long time to install and there are times during the installation where it looks like it's doing nothing so please just bear with it have some patience if I'd say if, if after half an hour it's still not installed then uh, then it's time to panic but uh, but just just leave it hopefully it shouldn't take anywhere near as long as half an hour but just depends on your PC as you probably saw there the iTunes icon disappeared off the that, that off the desktop um, this is because it's removing the old version of iTunes and it's going to be installing next the new latest version of iTunes as you can see the iTunes icon has now returned to the desktop um, it's still installing, so uh, just uh, keep an eye on your installation. Oh, there you go. It's actually said there your software has been successfully installed. So we left click OK. Oh, it's running a check now for new software. Um, it's just going to check other Apple software that might be installed on your device to see if there are any updates available for that. Again, this might take a little while. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's checked on mine. There's no new updates. It's asking me if I want to install iCloud for Windows, but I don't, so uh, I'm gonna leave that unticked and uh, I'm gonna just left click quit. Okay, and you should now have iTunes. If um, once you click check for updates, um, a different window appeared, then um, I will be doing another video which shows you the other alternative way of installing iTunes. Look out for it on my YouTube channel.